Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to this episode of G-Bear's Off-Grid Ways, a homestead in the desert on this 10th day of April, 2020. And we're looking at all of the plants I got here growing on the inside and uh, waiting for the weather to break, and I'm going to move them outside. These are already about eight inches tall, and uh, they're w well along their way for transplanting. And one thing I wanted to mention is when you transplant tomatoes, um, tomato plants and you take them out of a pot like this you're going to put them in the soil what you want to do is take off the bottom sets of leaves right here okay pop those off and then bury it all the way up to the next set of leaves right there you want all of that stem to be underground because if you get closer you see the little hairs sticking out of it those will all become roots underground well not all of them but most of them will become roots and they'll strengthen the plant very quickly. So when you do bury them, you want to you want to do that. Now this early girl was growing in this pot over here, and it was probably about as tall as this little one in the back right there, this guy. So I'd say that's probably six inches. But you can see right here, it's only about an inch and a half above the ground. I, I pull those leaves off the bottom and I put it way down deep. So that's going to set root very quickly now because the soil is around the, uh, those little hairs and they're going to uh, burst into roots. All right, my, uh, from seed, these are the um, tangelo trees. So they're looking really healthy. And I'm going to be splitting those up pretty soon and moving them into separate pots. And I'm going to move them into pots about that size down there. So we want a, we want a good size pot to uh, get those things uh, going in so that, and want them in independent pots so the roots don't entangle. So when I have to take them apart later and transplant them, I don't have to tear up the roots and um, put the, the trees into distress <clears throat> so they're coming up well there's another one over there that's another tangelo um, it, it's probably having problems getting up bigger like these because it doesn't have enough room to grow same thing with these now they're not they, they don't have enough room to grow because there's three of them cramped in this little pot so i got to get them into bigger pots give them some more room my early broccoli is ready to go out into the other garden and uh, we're supposed to start getting the sun back. I think we're talking about 70s already for uh, Monday. Uh, but I just checked the weather and uh, we're going to be lucky to be in the low 60s for Monday. And uh, we've had rain every day. Last night it rained all night long. And I got up in the morning and it was just a light sprinkle out there. And that's what woke me up was the uh, sound of the rain disappeared from uh, listening to it on the roof and uh, I, I woke up and I looked out and it was just a sprinkle and I said oh well then all of a sudden it stopped so I checked the weather report and the weather report says well we're going to get a whole bunch more here in a little while so I've been waiting for it all day and there's nothing clouds are out there I had sun over me I watched it rain over there, I watched it rain over there, I watched it rain over there, and I watched it rain over there, and I watched it rain that way. So it rained everywhere except right over me. I had blue skies. Now, go figure. All right. So let's go outside and I'll show you some of the things I did. Um, I know I didn't post yesterday. That's because I was busy with the rains and I got a little break in the rain yesterday. So I ran out, I grabbed a bunch of yellow buckets, I cleaned them all out, and I set them all up down there, and then I transferred water down to those buckets. I filled every one of those buckets. Uh, there's 12 six-gallon buckets down there that are filled. Also, the first small blue barrel up on top there was almost empty. I had forgot I'd been using that to fill up my little watering can to water the plants that are up high on shelves. And it was almost empty. It was down to that last bottom line. So I refilled that one also. And I took all that water out of these upper totes here. Well, let me go show you what, what happened there. 
Well, you can see they're way down low. No, I didn't leave the valve on. All right. So this was this was full this morning, but uh, it got up. To, it was up to here, and I transferred everything from there down. And uh, let's see. Yeah, I was down about here. So, so let's see, four seven. Uh, today's four ten. So yeah, so so I transferred it down to to a here or to here, and then all of this was half empty. I went inside, and the rains came down yesterday and filled this thing up within an hour's time. It was refilled. So I had this thing filled and it was overflowing. There was no place for it to go. I started sticking buckets underneath it. And you see the buckets with the covers in are, are full under there. I've got buckets filled everywhere. I've got buckets filled over here. I got buckets filled there with covers on them. I got another one filled there. I got to put a cover on it. I got to wash the covers first. I clean the covers so that I'm not putting any uh, dirt into these. This one would be full except I'm using this water. I've got a one gallon bucket and I scoop water out of there and I've been using that to flush the toilet so I don't use water out of my tank uh, for flushing the toilet. So that's saving me water in my big tank. So where did all that water go? Well, those barrels up there, when I had a little problem with a, a broken bracket, I had, it had actually, separated one of the, the joints on the manifold going around and I had a leak in there. So I refilled those things. They were all um, two thirds full. So I had to fill up one third full all the way around. And then I've hooked up a, a filter system on my uh, pump and I pump some more, the rest of it up into the main tank. And that goes down through two filters before it comes down to the cabin and then goes through a three-phase carbon filter. So I should be pretty safe with that water. And the water was very, very clean because there's no dirt on this roof anymore. The, uh, all the uh, dirt's been washed off in all these rains. And guess what? It's starting to sprinkle again right now. They did say we're supposed to get more rain all the way up until about 8 p.m. tonight. And uh, I'm hoping to refill those two totes. I just put my hoodie on because my head's getting wet. And I'm going to take you over to the uh, pond and show you. You can see the water splashing in the pond or the raindrops splashing in the pond right now. When I get closer. Oh, here we go. So the pond is holding pretty well. I mean, it did go down a little bit um, through the day, but it, the uh, stream, when the stream's been coming down, it's, uh, it's cut the stream quite deep. It's gone down about six inches or so. You can see the, the ruts here and full of black sand. And then every now and then I got these little areas full of rocks. So I'll be going through those with my metal detector and throw a couple of scoops down my sluice box, see what I get out of that. So yeah, you see the pond goes all the way out and the, it was overflowed into the third section, but it receded a little bit so there's none going across that center. Now I need to dig that center out of there. It needs to be as deep as the rest of this. So the pond goes all the way around the back. And I want these little islands around here. I, I thought that would loop pretty cool. So anyway, a lot of water in there and uh, you can see the little split, splitter splatters of the, um, the raindrops coming down right now. So on my way back, I'm going to show you something else I noticed because of the uh, rains. You remember the pea, pea plant I showed you, it was starting to dry out. Well, it got plenty of water, so it's got a bud on top of it. Well, guess what? Over here by where my friend Andy's motorhome parking place is, which is all grown in, it looks like a jungle. Look at all of the pea plants. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. They're all over the place, everywhere. So the little critters have been getting in there uh, before I put the metal up. They were getting in there and they were running away with the split peas. Look at them, there's just a whole bunch more over here. They're running away with the split peas and dropping them in the soil. And of course, then uh, the, they started growing. So cool, good enough. All right, well, that's about it. I went down, checked everything in the garden. It's all doing well. It's loving this rain. I got plenty of extra rain going around. And uh, I cleaned off all of the bird poop off of this thing and the rain washed it down really well, nice and clean. Birds came back and got into it again. And that cover, I put that down because um, I let the rainwater sit in there and the little birds come and drink it. They've been trying to get into these buckets like this and drink the water and a couple of them fell in and drowned. So I didn't want that to happen anymore. It's nesting time right now for all of them and they've got nests built everywhere. Every top corner where I put the little covers on there when I was doing the roofing, every corner on these uh, containers has got nests in them. And uh, on my uh, pipe rack right there, I've got uh, three, re three nests in there and two of them inside of the big black pipe. So yeah, they're, they're nesting everywhere. They're under the motorhome. They've been trying to get into my van, but they can't. So. I uh, can't distress, uh, disturb them or distress them while they're, uh, they're nesting and they've got their little eggs in there. And I like the little birds because they help with the bug content. Okay, well, I'm getting wet out here, so I'm going to head inside and uh, hope that this rain comes down heavy enough to refill those tanks. And I'll show that in the next video as to how much we got. This is G-Bear reminding you, give me a thumbs up down there. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Hey, I cr crossed the 3,000 mark, and uh, I think I'm all the way up to 3,010 already. So it was early this morning when I noticed that I crossed that 3,000 mark, and uh, great deal. Or was it late last night? Yeah, one of the two. All right, everybody. G-Bear signing off.